Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we defeated yet another Valkyrie. And now we have two helmets to bring back to the council. Old Rune and Gone Duel, I believe. Let's head back. I guess I must have imagined the effect in Moose Behind. Because all the other uh, versions, it isn't the same. Oh, yeah, it's not out the door. We're just... Oh, all right. Just because I'm dying of curiosity. Jump cut! Okay, here we are. Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming. Let's find out what happened to the elevator. <laughs> uh, wow! I, I was genuinely expecting to like walk in the door and see it rising up in front of me, or just to see it already there. I was not expecting it to just be a big hole that is... Just shows up. Well, all right, let's retrace our steps. So now we know the elevator gets confused about where it is and just decides it's at the top. The mechanisms must be very confused by this particular descent, given that there was no ascent in the middle. Oddly, there were no monsters on the way over this time. That spot where I almost always get jumped by uh, dark elves, nothing. And when I got back to the beach, nothing. I even waited to uh, make sure before I started recording again. And once again, just making the big loop. First, I... Oh. Well, hmm. uh, first, I guess we talked to them. I was going to buy a Resurrection Stone, because I died in that Valkyrie fight, but... We've been putzing around Niflheim, have we? How can you tell? I'd recognize if all these stench of failure anywhere. Plus, you still got some mist on your shoes. Thought he was going somewhere with that, but okay. Sure, I'm open. Oh, right, the thing I got. Yes, but first. Because I do have a tendency to forget things. Yeah, there was one I wanted to upgrade, but I needed more money for that. That is... No, I need a bunch of shit for that. Uh... Wait, why does that need Mist Echoes? Mist Echoes and Smoldering Embers. Check it out. Uh, Waste Guard of the Valkyrie. I'm going to need money. What do you know? What do you know? Seems familiar, doesn't it? Oh, it was this one. I don't love those gauntlets as much, but I'll go for a quick note on that. Uh... No, fuck. Just skip to uh, level 8, huh? These upgraded would be better, these would be worse. Uh, those aren't bad. It's, it's, it's very difficult for me to know how much better or worse a thing is, because all it does is show me an arrow on that big diamond. All 
right. See you next, where's I see you. Say, but Moose Bullheim? I don't think he did. All right. This crystal here is even four, given that the beam doesn't shoot over here. I wasn't thinking we should probably just take the portal. Whoa. Hi guys, bye guys. time on each draw sale lately. I wonder if it's cold. Everything is freaking blue, so I have no means of judging. Uh, like, is that really hot, really cold, or just nothing? Do I want to know what that is? It seems like a, like a realm tear the size of the Hindenburg. Realm Terrors do not have uh, swastikas on them, so, you know, it's got that over the Hindenburg. Wait. Oh, I know what that is. Uh, no, not that. God damn it. No, oh, there's just left and right. All fine. Yes, I never deactivated this. That's why there is a, uh... That's why there's a portal on my compass. Even though it's in another universe right now. Uh, why can't I turn that off? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it more simply than that. There, and turn it off. Okay. in peace. Ah, Gondul. Beautiful Gondul. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondul? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. Wow. Tried not interrupting this time. Gondul. Mimir said of Gondul, the sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver... Yes, it's just what he said before. Fine. Um... Oh, her wings are different. Why does she have upside-down wings like a demon? Or more specifically, like a fallen angel.
Mind you, I think the only thing I've ever seen that actually uses that trait in uh, Fallen Angels is Darksiders. Where the wings appear to be uh, attached the wrong way around. Rest in peace to you, too. All Rune. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain. She fell defending him during a Reaver attack. All Rune was escorted to Valhalla, but she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up with Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Olrun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Olrun didn't put up as much of a fight as the others. You're not like Kratos, you're more like... No. After everything he's done in this game, everything he's made better, all the spirits he's laid to rest and such, I'm still not sure whether or not we're playing as the good guy. You know, because I didn't do this. Have you no respect for my time? Scambo! You know, today was the first time I actually realized that he has different lines if you're way low on health. You know, because he'd said the barely a scratch line at everywhere from uh, a third of my health to uh, full health, because I'm not asking for health. It knew what it did. Right, this doesn't seem very treasury. Anything I got left behind here? Kind of in the middle of nowhere. You didn't know. I think that was the first one I did. I have to get actually. Oh, I actually have to remember. Don't I do that one, for example? Oh, I see. I don't see the portal yet. I'm thinking it might be over next to the shop. Sindri likes putting his... Huh. It's a very circular uh, formation down there. How odd. Oh, it's a ship. Nature abhors circles. Then again, I could be completely out to lunch, as I often am. And it did the thing again. It's not up, it's right, even though you're not looking right. It's always left or right. Foggy. Oh, there's a beaut. Beaut. I said that kind of funny. Hmm. 
I want to open that realm there. And stitch it back up. With the blood of my enemies. I don't know if you can make armor out of freaking fear and screams, then. Why not? Ahem. Not a dumbass, though. Oh, I can do this. Hell yeah. Not with that. together. Perfect. Hey, all your guys are dead. I don't know if you got that. You're gonna catch this, though. The apple doesn't fall far. Felt oddly spoiled for choice there at the end. <laughs> Yoink! You have acquired a pancreas. You do not want to know why it was in there. Realm dust. Do not snort that dust. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm about 90% certain there was not a giant troll stomping around on that beach the last time we came through there. Just a bunch of nightmares, who are, uh, who are you will note, very ineffectual all by themselves. By which I mean there were like three of them, but you know, if there's something, if there isn't something there that isn't a nightmare, they seem to have trouble. I've been there and got all the treasure and stuff. I'm still probably gonna kill that guy at some point. God damn it. Okay. What about the giant with eight arms? Starcath the mighty. Starcath. If the giants ever had anything so organized as an army, Starcath would have been their general. An opinion, in retrospect, I should have kept to myself. But no, as Odin's advisor, I kept him advised. And having bent his will towards Starkath's doom, there was no dissuading him. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. Huh. No. Instead, the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. No. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Starka, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms. It only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Starkath perished upon the battlefield. Starkath, and not Starkatter. A giant with eight arms swinging four swords until Thor chopped him up. Why did the gods gang up on him? Odin plotted to destroy Starkath after hearing Mimir praise him as a potential leader of giants. They spread rumors and gathered a mob, and when he surrendered to clear his name, Thor murdered him. Ah, I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried. I was thinking with that monologue from Braveheart. If you run, then on your deathbed you will wish you could give, a, give up all the days and years you had spent since that day just to go back and get another chance to be a brave warrior instead of a coward. Birds. Boy, throw them some bread pieces. But 
Father, you're not actually supposed to feed birds bread. It's bad for them. Did I ask did, did I ask for your opinion, Lord? No. Um where are we going? Uh I seem to have gotten completely lost, and this isn't helping. Yeah, that, that point was just pointing out into the middle of damn nowhere. Is that where they No, it isn't. I'm confused. Like, I saw the waypoint just sitting out there. I thought it was going to update. It's not still pointing me to... Oh, okay. Still says it's over there. I guess we're going to loop around. And underwater, I guess, you know. <laughs> Oh, I don't love this. Oh, this is getting one of those annoying ones, isn't it? Oh, you have to go back through this dungeon you've emptied out. So there's no monsters or anything. You just take five minutes walking through and doing the uh, the platforming again. No, it is just pointing here. What the hell? It's right there in front of me. Legitimate question. What the hell? What is this it here? Even this seems too far away for that. No, of course not. It's been here. There's nothing here except uh, a beach and it had a big monster stomping around on it. Okay, uh, new plan. I feel bad about that. So, oh, for fuck's sake, let's, uh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Okay, so this episode wasn't as dynamic as the last one. At least we got some more lore out of it. I'm going to head back to the Council of the Valkyries, where I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. I'm burning dog face. And, uh, hope you have a nice day till then. Later.